Hello and welcome back to the channel. The Mayan marbles are just one part of Guatemala's story. This country offers a wide variety to see and do, from the world-famous Mayan ruins to the pristine jungles, countless hiking trails, and colonial towns with centuries-old customs that are being practiced even today. So let's get started. First up, enter the jungle. Ancient Mayan towns have been hidden for so long in Guatemala because the country is covered in vast segments of unspoiled forest. Deforestation is an ongoing concern, yet large areas of jungle remain. If you visit any of the Mayan sites, you are likely to be taken on a jungle tour. Tikal, for example, is surrounded by dense forest and is home to monkeys, toucans, and other animals. In many cases, Mayan ruins are buried away in the dense forests. In contrast to the Mayan pyramids, El Mirador is a forest experience rather than a tourist attraction. Wherever you go in Semak Champe, whether you like it or not, you'll find yourself trekking through the forest. However, you may find yourself yearning to explore the woods in a different location. Some of the most accessible bio-reserves may be located in popular tourist destinations like Flores, the base camp, Fortical, or Antigua. Even more unusual animals may be found in distant forest reserves in the northwest of the nation, so keep your eyes open and get your camera ready. At number two, we have Lake Atitlan. Each lakeside town has its unique vibe, so it's all up to you where you choose to go. You can spend your days wandering around the local towns and mountains, or you can spend them discovering Guatemala's menu. Your options are unlimited in San Marcos and San Pedro. Regardless, most visitors have a great time. Take advantage of all possibilities that present themselves. Each of the lakeside communities has its own particular indigenous cultural history, making them all the more enjoyable to visit since they're all so different from one another. It's touristic, but as you move away from the coast, it becomes a lot more genuine and a lot more preserved culture. In the same way, the mountains are eager to be explored. Some of the more active tourists at Titlan enjoy climbing into the mountains in the early morning to witness the sunrise. And tour companies provide a wide range of climbs from difficult expeditions to peaceful long walks. At number three, we have ancient Mayan ruins. The phrase hard to beat is overused these days, but hiking through the Central American jungle to find a long forgotten Mayan metropolis is truly hard to beat. The plaza in the center of the city is surrounded by ancient pyramids that are still intact and there are dozens of other massive structures hidden in the forest. With toucans soaring above and howler monkeys providing an ever-present soundtrack, you could spend all day here exploring the ancient ruins. There are hundreds more historic sites in Guatemala outside the primary Mayan attraction, which only a small percentage of visitors visit or are even aware of. Even if you don't measure up to the magnificence and scope of Tikal, they'll be worthwhile trips for anyone interested in learning about the region's pre-Columbian past. Iximche and Aguateca are some of the more accessible and beautiful places in the vicinity of Tikal. Copan near Honduras is one of Guatemala's most popular tourist destinations because of its totem-like stone sculptures. Whatever you choose to do, you will not be disappointed. At number four, we have roasting marshmallows on volcanoes. You can indeed toast marshmallows on the summits of Guatemala's several volcanoes, some of which are still burning hot. Pacaya is one of Guatemala's most accessible volcanoes and a popular tourist destination. It's one of the country's most popular volcano treks since it's just a few hours from Antigua by bus and only takes an hour and a half to reach the summit. At the top of the mountain, there are just a handful of other hikers. At the park gate, kids wait in line to hire horses and they'll accompany you along the route while you make up your selection. An unforgettable activity to do with the whole family. Five, we have Semek Champe. After seeing Tikal, Semek Champe was the second favorite destination for visitors in Guatemala after the colonial city of Antigua. While it may appear like the middle of nowhere, a gigantic natural limestone structure is located deep in the forest, and its terraced bathing pools seem like an enormous tropical rice field. For a once inaccessible natural beauty, this park is well managed and accessible from the local town of Lagoon. This is just a few miles from the park. 
If you want to get away from it all, you may even stay in the park itself in one of the lodges there. Many trips will take you to the tunnels, a labyrinth where you swim down an underground river carrying a candle over your head to illuminate the way. Local teenagers with good salesmanship abilities will also attempt to sell you a drink or two while you're on the bridge jump or rope swing. Although the bus ride is lengthy and bumpy, the view and activities make it all worth it. Once you're done with the ride, you'll want to remain in the town for more than a few days. And lastly, we have Colonial Antigua. Many visitors come to Antigua due to the obvious city's grid system and sequential numbering of its streets. Even if they don't want to, it's simple to understand why individuals end up staying longer than intended. With its cobblestone colonial beauty and embracing plazas, the city offers the ideal laid-back ambiance for its tourists. The city is full of expat-friendly pubs, affordable eateries, welcoming plazas, bustling street markets, and even some modern-day comforts, such as sophisticated dessert shops. While the main square is a bit crowded with tourists, it's possible to go out into the surrounding area and see sights like this. A little lava running down would make it mu appear much better. Due to its colonial background, it is one of Guatemala's few cities that is truly attractive as opposed to other Guatemalan cities that unfortunately have been ruined by contemporary urban expansion. As a result, when people arrive in the country, they often bypass the capital and go directly towards Antigua. There's a lot to do surrounding the city for those who are a little more adventurous with almost every hostel offering cultural and outdoor trips to a variety of neighboring destinations. Volcano hikes are a popular activity, but if you're up early enough, you can still visit some of the more remote highland towns, metropolitan areas, and lakeside resorts. All right, Colonial Antigua brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on yet another adventure.